How is everyone doing today? <laughs> Let me tell you something, a real quick story about me. When I first started off in business, I started off in a store in Las Vegas. I thought in my mind that the day I was going to open my doors, people were going to flood in like people waiting for a Star Wars movie. That's what I thought. Boy, did I have a lot to learn. Don't get me wrong. The first couple of weeks of business was great. But then all of a sudden, a mind shift happened that I didn't even know existed at that point. I was putting my power of my business in the hands of people. Local people. So all of a sudden, people started coming in the store and said, hey, what do you have new? And I'm thinking to myself, dude, I just started this store. I'm not going to have anything new in a week or two, you know, or whatever. And they kept coming in back in and asking the same questions. Then all of a sudden, something clicked. <laughs> I'm waiting for the few local people to come in and support my business. I'm going to go broke. Why am I going to go broke? Think globally, people. Those of you who follow me know I've had some international business and travel and things of that nature. But one thing I've noticed is I went to a trade show in China. If I would have took a picture when I was waiting for a cab, I probably could have took a picture of every member of every country in the world. I said China attracted all of these people. It looked like the freaking Olympics. Like it was crazy. We were on freaking um, charter buses getting brought to different buildings where they were selling things. So you would have people who would set up store type setting and they would come in and say, hey, because before you could even buy it, they say, look, we're going to, we're, we're playing with the big boys here. If you're going to come in my world, I say this right here, you can buy this, but you're going to have to buy Today, no more, no less than a thousand pieces. And let's say I made this for 50 cents. So every person that came into the, into my, my zone, my, my, my store would have to buy that many pieces. And that's the minimum. But some people would come in and say, Hey, I need a million. Hey, I need 2 million. But their customers are people who are buying more and people who are spending more. So I'm just like, holy crap. I'm in a situation where it's like, these people are making millions upon millions of dollars. I was making hundreds of dollars. With that little small mind shift, do you understand that that actually is what business is? Business is about serving as many people as you can. If you're on this local crap, and let me, let me, let me say crap. Let me just keep my thoughts to myself. But if you on this local mindset where you can only, you feel that the only people I can sell to are the people in my area. Can you pass a business card to Jimmy? Can you do this to such and such and do this? With a, that's not going to put money in your pocket. Look, the eighth wonder of world, I know it's compound interest and things like that, but I'm going to tell you that <laughs> When you're thinking in that mindset, you're only going to be here. When you're thinking in the big mindset, you're going to be over here. But the eighth one of the world, what I was saying was, is the internet. I can sit in a room, type a few buttons, and all of a sudden I'm talking to China. I'm talking to Switzerland. I'm talking to uh, Iceland. I'm talking to the people all over. Look. This product can be sold locally where I am. It can be sold two hours from where I am. It can be sold in Timbuktu. It can be sold in Nigeria. It can be sold in Canada. That's what you need to be doing. People, we only have one life. Are you going to live that life to the point where you're taking these? Like, I believe in small steps. But I'm only going to stay in this area, and that's where I'm staying. I don't know anything about that. I don't want to learn anything about that. That's out of my comfort zone. 
This is why you have teenagers becoming millionaires. Because they grew up in the world where they understand that huh, this local economy, that's not, that's not what it's all about. I'm not going to get out of my car or go around and just pass cars out to people. That's... And, 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 and for those of you who may think, oh, this is arrogant, what you're saying, this is bad. Look, it's time to speak the damn truth. Let's stop playing these games. If you don't understand anything out of your local area, learn it. Get a book. Well, I don't know anything. Study it. Nobody comes into this world knowing everything. But I'm going to be brave enough to tell you that if you're into this local mindset way of doing business, you're probably not going to make it in your lifetime. You got to hit the pavement and find out who your demographic is in the world. And the internet can give you that. I'm talking to you right now by video. How many people you think are going to see the video? Just my local area? Or the world? The people that I'm connected. I'm not saying everybody in the world, but I have people who are from South Africa. I have people who are from the Netherlands. I have people from uh, different UK, different places. And establish relationship with them and have done business with them. So all I'm saying is this, people. It's time to wake up. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. And, and, and stop thinking that something's different is bad. Oh my gosh, this gets someone hurt. It's not bad. Something that is different is great. Great. Right? And, 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 it's, and it's so sad because when you talk this mentality to most people, they look at you like you're strange. They look at you like you're this, or he's crazy, or he's this. All that is, is that crab in a barrel mentality. I'm not brave enough to get out of that comfort zone, so you're doing it. So I'm going to try to pull you back with my thoughts and our group thoughts that I'm going to be talking about you when I'm not around in your area. I mean, not, when you're not around, right? Get out of here with that crap. Listen to me, people. If you're going around... Like, I'm not saying it's, you can't pass business cards out. But if somebody contacts me from the UK and say, hey, I want to do business, I'm going to send them my information via email. I can reach more people by staying at home than I can leaving. Like, some people always hit me up like, hey, can we go out, whatever. I'm like, dude, you, you guys don't understand. I can't. And the reason why is because, one... I only have one lifetime. I have very limited time, and I'm gonna use that time wisely. I'm going to reach out to as many people as I, as I can by video or by blog, and not picking up the phone and calling all the time. I mean, sometimes you gotta call to get the bigger tickets, you know, bigger ticket numbers or whatever, but that's all I'm saying, people. We gotta wake up. Local isn't all that you should be doing. Think globally let's say it together globally for like a, a, a Sesame Street deal here whatever there's a new word today kids global <laughs> that's all I'm saying think about what I just said because you're not talking to a guy who's just coming out of this pulling this out of his butt no oh, that sounds kind of weird but no he's pulling it out of it no I went through this I walked through that fire I've already passed that rest stop Right? I'm just telling you for those of you who are getting started, that's not what you should be just focusing on. Think about how you can maximize your time and reach as many people as possible with little effort. The internet is giving you that power. So that's all I have to say, good people. Hopefully your day day is going great. And um mine is gonna grow great because I'm gonna make it that way. I'm gonna make the necessary choices to make it great. So, with that said, good people, thank you. And until next time, signing off.